Good morning, dear students. Greetings and good wishes to you all. I always wish for your good health and beautiful smile. Let's break the chain and stop the spread during this pandemic situation. We need to tell our loved ones, beloved ones, haters, everyone that we care them and we love them a lot. We need to protect ourselves and all those around us by breaking the chain and preventing the spread of the COVID-19 virus during this challenging pandemic situation. Get vaccinated at the first opportunity. Do not neglect. A simple precaution will keep us all secure and safe and we can live longer. When you are alive, you can do whatever you want in your life and we can help others also and you can motivate others. Now it's time to wake up and time to mask up. Stay home and break the chain. Only if necessary, come out. Otherwise, stay at home because you are important. Okay, now let us go through the further continuation of the class. Yesterday, I dealt about the introduction to agrobacterium tumefaciens. Today, I'll be discussing with you the continuation part of TI plasmid. Okay, so TI stands tumor inducing plasmid. Now, let us go through the what is this particular TI plasmids and what are the parts of this. TI plasmids. Okay, as I discussed yesterday, in this particular agrobacterium tumefaciens, which is a bacteria, there you can see the presence of tumor inducing plasmid, which is of 200 kilo base. In that, yesterday I discussed with you about the four distinct regions. Specifically, the distinct regions play a very important role for the tumor induction. That is nothing but the crown gall. So, so, what are the distinct regions? I told yesterday I discussed the tDNA. tDNA means that is the transfer DNA. This is the part of the TI plasmid that is responsible to cause the tumor or tumor formation or tumor induct, induction. Okay. So, this tDNA may which is responsible for the main transfer DNA, okay, which brings the tumor formation in the plant. Okay. Then it is also responsible for the replication because as we know, all plasmids are self-replicative, right? They replicate by themselves. They do, they do not depend on the bacterial chromosomes. Responsible for conjugation, right? And they're responsible for virulence. This virulence in short, will say vir region. This vir region is very, very important for the transfer of tDNA to cut open the tDNA from the TI plasmid and once they cut the tDNA, then that will be integrated into the plant host genome. Genome in the sense, within the nucleus, whatever the genome will be there, there actually they go and integrate. See what a target they have, what a destination, everything naturally happening, say, right? So here we understood that microbial activity, then we are exploiting for the transgenic plants to obtain hybrid plants. So yesterday I've already discussed, let me recall here. So we have the original application, ORI site for the replication of the TA plasmid in the bacterium, right? Apart from that, we have virulence region, right? Virulence region, which is responsible for transferring the tDNA from the bacterial, uh, bacterial territory to the plant territory. See, if this is a prokaryotes and that's the eukaryotes. So this virulence genes are proteins, whatever that will be expressing, no? They will cut open this tDNA and they'll excite and that will be transferred into the plant genome. Yesterday, I've already showed that particular diagrammatic representation, right? So the what are the TA plasmid, tDNA, part of the plasmid DNA will be there. That will be, this is the plasmid, right? This part will be excised or taken out and the vir genes are responsible to send the tDNA to the bacterial genome to the nuclear pore complex by forming the conjugation tube. See, this is prokaryote and this is eukaryote. This is happening naturally. Naturally, they are able to infect wherever they get the damage or cuts. For example, you may think that is happening naturally. When we want to do that in the artificial condition, we can, uh, we can purposefully, we can make a uh, damage to the plant system and we can go for the induction of that particular uh, infection of the agrobacterium tumefaciens. Okay, so that is about the vir region. So next uh, slides we are going to understand in detail. So whereas here you can see in the tDNA auxin production region and the cytokine production region. So together we say that as the oncogenic genes. And next we have here opine synthesizing region. So what is this opines? Opines are used by the bacterium. Okay, 
here in the ti plasmid when this tdna will get enter into the plant genome they in the plant genome bacteria has to survive right in the plant host so this tdna by integrating into the plant genome that will start producing this opines okay opines are nothing but the nutrient right that is for the bacteria it means opines which are what are the produced by the tdna used by bacterium as an important energy source and also carbon and nitrogen source each strain of agrobacterium and rhizobium induces and catabolizes a specific set of opines okay based on the production of the different types of opines we can also classify the different ti plasmid as i told you we can go for the octopine nopalline and agropine so whereas here this is the octopine type so we have the octopine type of ti plasmid and nopalline type of ti plasmid agropine type of ti plasmid so i hope you understood you may get in the internal test or main examination for two marks or maybe one mark so what is this opine catabolism see this opine catabolism responsible for the breakdown of complex molecules involving or sorry in in living organisms in the living organisms this opine catabolism responsible for the breakdown of the complex molecules to form simpler ones okay then together with the release of energy the, that will be done by the catabolism when they break down that particular complex molecules and what are the complex molecules which were broken down into a simpler one that will be utilized by the bacterium this will synthesize the opines right and this is a nutrient and that will be further catabolized by the same plasmid genes and once open catabolism done then bacterium will utilize the all those nutrients for their survival process okay so up to here whatever the yellow color is there this is the tdna on each side you will be able to see the presence of right border and the left tdna border so this is tdna left tdna and the right tdna so you must always keep in your mind that vir regions comes where vir regions always into right in the uh, diagram always at the left tdna border okay right tdna border there must be the presence of conjugate u transfer and the opine catabolism center vri site so this is the ti plasmid structure okay you may get in your internal test or main examination so you need to keep this in your mind now let us understand in detail about this particular structure of uh, ti plasmids tdna or organization of tdna you may also get like briefly explain the structure and our organization of the tdna for two marks or maybe for five marks so what you can say here the transfer of tdna into plant chromosome brings about physiological and morphological changes in the tissue due to the expression of genes located in tdna see what are the bacterial tdna which entering into the plant genome that is going to make a hereditary changes okay not a only transient so now uh, i told you already that in ti plasmid there are major regions are there right one is the onc region onc region you can see the presence of tms1 that is tms2 one region tms2 two region they represent shooty locus and tm are representing the rooty locus okay it means here this is this one this is this one tmr region and tms in this tms we have tms1 and tms2 so different types of chemicals over there and they are responsible for the biosynthesis of phyto hormones like auxin that is iaa indolacetic acid right then cytokinin isopentyl adenosine fibrin monophosphate so this is the onc region a tumor causing region in the tdna can be observed another one is os region os means what os means opine synthesizing region so as i'm discussing with you about the tdna structure organization so these two are the regions responsible for the auxin and cytokinin production then we have the os region that is opine synthesizing region or opine synthesis region responsible for the synthesis of amino acids and sugar derivatives collectively called opines and these opines are low molecular weight nitrogen containing compounds for example octopine nopalline and agropine so based on what kind of opines they'll produce we can classify the different types of ti plasmids so this is the 
octopine type of ca plasmid means this opine region will synthesize the octopine chemical compound so that is octopine type of ca plasmid now coming to the another part of the tdna see in tdna we have this uh, tmr and tms region okay the green color one and this one okay they enter from here to here this is the onc region after onc region i told you about the os region that is the opine synthesizing region then next one is your next important part of tdna see ta plasmid is different tdna is different i'm talking here only about the tdna okay here we have the left tdna border and here we have the right tdna border so here this borders are actually 25 base pair direct repeat sequence are known as left uh, border and the right border then what is the purpose of this left and uh, uh, right border they are essential for tdna transfer okay because you have ori site we have virulence region opine catabolism region opine synthesis region if there is a missing of one left border or maybe a missing of right this uh, tdna border then what happens the, we are the vir genes genes are unable to transfer the tdna it means the right border and the left border which act like a pass okay without pass you cannot enter or without ticket you can't enter to you can you cannot enter to any movie or maybe a uh, uh, what uh, bus or whatever right now it is mobile is there don't say that ma'am we have a mobile no something should be there some id must be there right like that to integrate this particular tdna into the plant genome the presence of left tdna border and right tdna border is very very important okay these two are essential for transfer of the tdna into the plant genome see why i am emphasizing more here is that because when you go through a transgenic plants you will remove the genes onc genes it means the genes which are responsible for causing the crown gall that you will remove okay if you remove left tdna border if in case what are the 25 uh, repeating sequences are there 25 base pair direct repeating sequence which are present on either sides now if you damage this left border and right border their transformation will not happen a transgenic plants are not going to form so these two act like a pass okay and they'll also protect the tdna because of the presence of left tdna border and the right tdna border okay so this is all about the structural representation of the ti plasmid i hope you understood little bit about ti plasmid huge information is there about ti plasmid try to understand step by step okay now let us go through see here you understood in a simple mechanism i told if you want in detail the information about the ti plasmid let us go through in detail but up to here whatever i told no if you keep in your mind that is more than enough for your examination point of view further let me talk about this particular t dna genes and their functions okay so in the t dna you can see the presence of ocs that is octopine synthesized region or ocs or you can also say in short os okay responsible for the opine synthesis we have also nos that is the nopaline synthesis okay so that is also responsible for the opine synthesis now coming to i told you that in this particular region there will be the presence of tms1 and tms2 now let us go through what is this tms1 tumor in shoot okay tumor shoot two so in tumor tms1 there you can see the specific chemicals like iaah ox a and crypto the product which will be obtained through tms1 gene is that tryptophan 2 mono oxygenase responsible for oxygen synthesis again tms2 iaam auxb indole acetamide hydrolase responsible for oxygen synthesis other part i told you here that tmr tmr that is ipt or cyt responsible for the production of the product like isopentanyl transferase and responsible for cytokinin synthesis as you already understood that the both the balanced condition of oxygen and the cytokinin responsible for the callus in this uh, kind of bacteria also when they get infected to the plant genome and integrate the genome into the integrate the tdna into the plant genome there due to the equal production process of the oxygen and the cytokinin they are responsible for the crown gall disease okay i have already told you that what is the meaning of the crown what is meaning of crown crown is nothing but the junction between the 
root and the shoot region okay that is known as the cron and these uh, tms1 tms2 and tmr responsible to cause that particular cron gall disease then tmn also observed but which product they'll produce which is unknown okay and even unknown mutation affects that particular tumor size and one more we have in the ti plasmid very rarely found that is frs based on the opine synthesis that is fructopine synthase responsible for the opine synthesis mas monopine synthase opine synthesis ags that is agropine synthase opine synthesis so so much information is there while explaining about the structure of the uh, ti plasmid and the organization of the tdna so instead of going to all these things if you keep in your mind this much information of about tdna that is more than enough not to uh, worry about all those chemical product and everything okay so structure of tdna organization when you go for this particular organization structure you just mention about the onc region os region and the 25 base pair direct repeat sequence okay so that is about the tdna transfer so if you want to go through what what is this opine and what are their particular chemical compartments i told you that octopine nopaline agropine here you can see the structural representation chemical representation for examination point of view this is not important structure but you must know the structure of that particular opines okay i mentioned here the three opines octopine nopaine and agropine which were produced by the tdna molecule when when they integrate into the plant genome plant in the plant system host system bacteria will be there bacteria has to survive right in the soil that used to survive by taking the nutrients bacteria uh, in plant genome right it is there it means that has to survive means when tdna will get integrate into the plant genome the tdna will start producing the opine and what are the opines which are produced by the tdna that catabolism also will be happening in the ti plasmid once catabolism happens then agrobacterium tumefaciens bacteria will utilize that as a carbon nitrogen source and energy right so based on opine synthesis the ti plasmids are divided into octopine arnopaline even the agropine and monopine there are classification we can go for the classification of the ti plasmids based on the opine synthesis okay all these plasmids are identical in the structure except their sequences for opine synthesis and catabolism will differ but almost be same okay so you can keep this particular structure also in your mind uh, where you can see the clearly uh, the parts or uh, characteristics of the tdna let me recall here you can here you can see vir region see vir region always near the left border region if you write this side what happens you'll lose marks so below the left border region always from here to here there are presence of vir regions what is the function of the vir region they are responsible for integration of tdna into the plant genome it means these vir regions act like a receptionist or they'll escort okay they'll escort they'll invite the tdna okay they'll excite and once they excite they'll escort the tdna into the plant genome through the formation of the conjugation tube all the up to integration the vir regions is going to do all the work then this is the tdna right in tdna you can see left border and the right border it's very simple please try to understand this one in intel test you are going to get this question for 5 marks or maybe a 10 marks you should be able to explain in detail so here you can see the auxin region then the cytokine region then opine synthesizing region so this is the structure of the tdna okay what is the capacity of this tdna plasma 200 kilo base our puc vector player pbr tend to very less less than 10 kilo base okay this is 200 kilo base then you can see the opine catabolism then ori site replication okay so this is again in detail about uh, that particular ti plasmid i told you about the origin application then virulence region for the tdna transfer opine catabolism region right for the breakdown of opines then conjugative transfer region for the gene transfer right and tdna region or oncogenic region for tumor induction then plant hormone synthesizing region that is nothing but the oncogenic genes and opine synthesis left border and the right border okay i hope you understood i will not repeat this again kindly keep in your mind the four major regions of this particular ti plasmids 
what are those four major regions vri site virulence region then tdna region right and then opine synthesizing region okay now now don't feel difficult okay just pay attention just be with me let us go step by step tdna you already understood right left border will be there right border will be there then onc region will be there then opine synthesis region will be there next let us move on to the virulence region okay so let us understand the virulence region which is present near the left tdna border okay so this is the this is what organization of the virulence region okay so this is the left tdna border where you can see the sharp edge no so this one from here the structure is begins so this is the left tdna border as you can see this is the left tdna border after left tdna border okay what happens there you can see that there several genes can be observed in this particular vir regions now let us understand in detail about what is this vir region and what is the mechanism how this vir region will integrate the bacterial dna into the plant genome okay now let's get started here vir regions contains eight operons eight operons in, in the sense you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight operons it means they are given alphabetical number letter that is vir a b c d e f g and h so these are the eight operons we can see in the vir region okay which together have 24 genes 24 genes means for example this f gene which is having the one particular uh, gene then in this e factor operons there you can see the presence of two in d four then c two then in b 11 so when you combine all these particular genes which are present in the operon so total there are 24 genes which are responsible for the integration of the tdna into the plant genome now what is the capacity of this uh, uh, vir region this vir region capacity is 35 kilo base whole entire tdna plasmid capacity is 200 kilo base this vir region which is having the capacity of 35 kilo base okay with this vir regions are required for what tdna movement transfer escorting okay only vir regions are doing all the transferring the tdna from the bacteria through the conjugation tube to the plant genome see what a mechanism what a mechanism huh? this is prokaryote and that is eukaryote through the conjugation tube they are making their own bridge and they entering into the plant genome right like pakistan and uh, india sometimes we want to uh, fight with them means we go right we'll make our own mechanism they have made their natural mechanism so that's why this agrovatant mutations were called uh, called natural genetic engineering they are cutting by themselves the tdna and the carry and they make their own conjugation tube and that will be integrating into the plant genome and they will reach to the destination that is to the nuclear nuclear pore complex npc to nuclear pore complex they'll enter into the plant genome what a route what a mechanism see vir regions mediate transfer of tdna into the plant genome right it is itself not transfer it means vir regions are not getting integrated to the plant genome o only the tdna is going to transfer it means they are just uh, playing the accessory role okay the, i told you that's why escorting the guest will go and uh, sit on the stage but whatever the escorting people or receptionist so they'll be there only they'll be up to the stage and later that the guest will go and sit like that here also vir regions responsible for escorting the tdna from the ti plasmid to the plant genome until that is integrated then vir a and vir g are constituent operons encoding vir a and vir g proteins so now let us understand we have eight operons in this eight operons it's the dna right in the dna we can say the presence of the genes these are the genes these genes should get expressed okay so we have the eight operon means we'll also get the eight respective proteins okay one example vir a means they will express and they'll give the vir protein vir g means they'll uh, the gene will express and they'll give the protein what do you mean by gene expression gene expression is nothing but the central dogma right the dna will get converted into the mrna transcription transcription then translation then proteins will do the other mechanism of transferring and everything that will be done by the proteins see dna just stores the information dna is not doing anything 
Oh, right. We say gene. What do you mean by gene? We, we can say gene is the segment of DNA that instruct the cell to synthesize proteins. Once proteins are synthesized, they will do their activity based on the cell requirement, right? So each eight operon, they have respective proteins. Other will operons encode various proteins involved in tDNA transfer. Other than we're G and we're A, there are so many other genes are there, no? They will also get expressed and they're responsible in transferring the tDNA. Try to understand step by step. I'll, now I'll be going to the next slide, okay? As you can see here, the operon very A protein, which phosphorylates itself, and VIRG G protein, which then induces all the eight operons of VIRG regulon. Okay, the arrows above the letter designating the operons, okay, indicate the direction of transcription and the number of above arrows, which represents the number of genes present in that particular operon. F genes. The one or pro one particular um, gene can be seen over there, whereas E in this E operon, there are two genes are there, okay, like that. So, this is the enter organization of where regions of PI plasmids, which consisting of 24 genes. So, now let us understand about the where genes under proteins. So, just imagine this is the PI plasmid, okay. So, here you can see the tDNA. Always to the left border, we'll write the VIR region and here ORI sign and here you can see the open catabolism, right? And here the conjugate transfer. So whatever we have the VIR genes here, this VIR genes will get activated and they start producing the proteins. So just keep in your mind here, the VIR A protein responsible for the production of the VIR A, VIR A, VIR A gene, which is responsible for the protein product that is protein product that very A protein goes and binds to the acetosyringone. So what is this acetosyringone? Is in previous in previous class I told you know acetosyringone, which are produced by the which are produced by the plants, right? Whenever they get infection or sorry, whenever they get any kind of wounds, okay, that time they'll start producing the phenolic compounds. That phenolic compounds are chemotaxis which attracts the plant system and then agrobacterium tumefaciens, which go and integrate into the plant genome, right? So without, if there are no any kind of infection, if there are no any kind of injury, then this agrobacterium tumefaciens is not going to get integrated. So whenever the wound occurs that time, this wound, which is going to release the chemical compound, like phenolic compounds, right, acetosyringone, those acetosyringone will be come in contact with the VIR A protein. Just keep in mind first VIR A proteins. Now let us understand in detail about the further characteristics and functions of the VIR uh, protein, VIR genes. What are the eight operons we have though? Those eight operons characteristics and their functions, let us understand now. So let us go to the first one VIR A. So what is the function of the VIR A? Is this VIR A responsible for phenolic sensor. It means whenever the plants get injured or cut happens, that time they'll release the phenolic component. That phenolic component will be recognized and attracted by the VIR A proteins. In the eight operons, first VIR A proteins will get attracted by this particular phenolic sensor. Then they will start the other mechanism. Okay. And this VIR A, which is a part of two component system with VIR G. Okay, once this very A, which sends the phenolic components, there you can see the formation of the phosphorylation. And that phosphorylation, which activates the VIR G. Okay, then you see all this is happening in the agrobacterium tumefaciens. Once all this has happened in the agrobacterium tumefaciens, then that will be move on to the plant system. So, how can given a category here? Two categories. One is whatever the function will be happening in the agrobacterium during the transferring of the tDNA, then what are the functions which are happening in the plant genome? So you hope you understood about the VIR A. I hope you don't have any doubts here. So VIR A responsible for the phenolic sensor, right? And this VIR A proteins which come in contact with the phenolic component like acetosyringone and form the phosphorylation of, and activates the VIR G region. Then what is the VIR G, uh, this particular uh, function? 
the virji responsible for transcriptional factor once this vir a gets activated here you can see first vir a which proteins which go and integrate uh, in, interact with the phenolic components of the plant uh, what are the extra chemical which has released once this vir a get activated phosphorylation will happen that phosphorylation that come in contact with the that phosphorylation which is activates the vir g region in turn this whatever the proteins which are produced by the vir g region this vir g region in turn activates the all the other genes for their production of the proteins right gene expression should happen no? so they need some signal so the production of the uh, some of the proteins that is vir g responsible for the activation of the other all genes including the vir g so that is responsible transcriptional factor transcriptional factors means in the vir gene there is the presence of dna that dna will get converted into a mrna then proteins and those proteins are responsible for again integrating into the plant genome of their tdna so vir g responsible for the vir gene expression entire vir gene expression which is based on vir g when vir a and vir g get activated they in turn responsible for the g uh, vir gene expression then we also have vir b1 and b11 so what is this vir b1 and b11 see in the vir b we have 11 Okay, eleven genes. Eleven genes are there. So all those genes will be get activated once we're G uh, responsible for the gene expression. We're B one to B eleven, which are responsible components of membrane structure for tDNA transfer. Then we're D one in tDNA processing. Then this we're D one, which also modulate the we're D two activity. Then Vir D two once Vir D get activated, they start producing their proteins. Then in that Vir D two uh, proteins which nick the DNA, nick means cut, okay, cut or cleave. They cleave the their own tDNA and directs the tDNA to Vir B transfer apparatus, okay. So up to up to here. See once the nick is done, then the tDNAs are free now. Then the tDNA are ready to ready to get integrated into the plant genome. Okay. Now, once the nick is done, then they are ready to move to the plant genome. Now, let us understand VIR2 function. Once this VIR2 gene get activated and produce the virulence protein, they will start their integration work into the plant system. So here, the single strand DNA binding proteins, that is, we can say SSB. SS. What is the role of SSB? These SSB will protect their tDNA from any kind of nuclease enzyme. Nuclease means what? The Enzyme is responsible for degradation of the um, DNA molecule. In that, again, you can take DNA means they'll degrade the DNA molecule. RNA means they'll degrade the RNA molecule. So the binding of SSB will E2 protein, which protects them from the any kind of the um, degrading enzymes. And this will E2, which prevents the tDNA degradation by nucleases by binding with the SSB. And this will E2 see what the mechanism. This vir E2 involved in nuclear integ nuclear targeting. It means this vir E2 that will go to the destination that is nuclear genome and that will make a target and uh, their tDNA will go and will be integrated by the vir E2 proteins. It means vir E2 involved in the nuclear targeting and helps in passage through nuclear pore complex. Okay, so this is all about the. Eight operons of uh, function in the plant system and also in the agrobacterium system. Now let me recall and try to understand about the this particular vir proteins or uh, activity and the vir genes. Okay, let me recall again here. This is the final slide of the vir genes. Try to understand here only, not to recall again and again. So let us understand here. I've written the vir genes. So these are the name. These are the vir genes, and your contribution in transformation are their role in the transformation are their role in the integration of the tDNA into the plant genome. Let us understand in detail here in this slide. Vir A responsible for the senses the acetosterine bond secreted by the wound wounded plant cell. Only wounded dicotyledonous plants are responsible for releasing of the acetosterine bond, that is a phenolic 
components so mono monocotyledons they are unable to produce this kind of phenolic component so the soil bacteria agrobacterium they are unable to infect the monocotyledons plants so vir a is a product specific inner membrane protein that recognize and is responsive to the plant phenolic compound so we can say here this has the chemo taxis because these agrobacterium timid phase in which are attracted by the chemical component so through chemo taxis the bacteria will get entry into the plant genome next vir g which is responsible for transcriptional activator of vir box vir g which acts as transcription activator of other loci of vir region other loci means we have eight operons now again once this vir g get activated in turn that will activate the other rest of the different vir regions for the integration of the tdna then vir d2 which protects the five prime end from being cleaved by the endo nucleus see you must understand here when you go for the nucleus we have see one is nucleus which cuts the dna molecule dna is dna will cut rna is rna will cut apart from that even we have the endo nucleus and the exo nucleus endo nucleus means are the enzyme which cuts within the dna molecule exo nucleus means they cut the free ends of the, the fragments so so this particular vir d2 responsible to protect the five prime end region by cleaving the, by cleaved by the endo nucleus sorry exo nucleus so here this vir d2 which protects the end being cleaved by the exo nucleus because see pay attention because i told you that in tdna the two left border right border are very very important so if the free ends are cut are digested by the any nucleus enzyme what happens then integration will not happen so see what a mechanism this vir d2 which is going to protect the exo nucleus exo means free ends of the dna molecule will be protected okay by the exo nucleus enzyme exo means free ends of the dna fragment so tdna free ends should not be degraded because they are very important for the integration into the plant genome then coming to vir e vir e vir e which is 16 kilo base protein helps in gene transfer observe so 16 kilo daltons right called daltons means whenever we is a 10 nanosy kilo daltons mean that is a protein vir e proteins whatever that will be synthesized which is of 69 kilo daltons if you mention the vir genes enter is 35 kilo base when we mention kilo base that is the dna dna okay whereas this is the molecular weight of the proteins then vir c1 and c2 which forms over drive sequence and helps in dna transfer then vir d which excise tdna once the cut is done that will excise the dna tdna to transfer into the plant genome okay then here the products of vir c and g are involved in generation and processing of tdna vir b forms conjugation pore between the plant and bacteria okay then vir b and vir e are involved in forming structure components which facilitate movement of t dna then coming to the vir b11 which is responsible for atps activity which provides energy for the movement of tdna see every mechanism is present in the vir region then coming to vir h which detoxify other adversely affecting components during the dna transfer finally vir h allows bacteria to survive in the presence of bactericidal compounds from plant during infection bactericidal means the chemicals which are responsible for degradation of this particular agrobacterium that will be protected by the vir h see